We are still here with Teddy Burris, career coach, with his own show and uh, webcast as well, answering questions about finding new jobs and also how to get yourself in a position to maybe change careers. You can text us your questions at the bottom of your screen. All right, so this person is asking, uh, what type of job resources are out there to help me get placed? So Tanya, there, there are lots of resources that people uh, don't know about at all. Um, first of all, um, if, if you want to find a list of resources that I try to keep up to date, which is a, a phenomenal task, there's a lot of, a lot of resources, go to my website, ncwiseman.com. Just like it sounds, ncwiseman.com. Secondly, look at places like NC Works. NC Works has lots of resources. They don't just have the unemployment side. They also have career coaching, resume writing, cover letter writing, and those kinds of sources. So go look at your NC Works, whether it's in Forsyth County or Guilford County. Mm -hmm. That's a, those are two good ones. Yeah. Um, I wanted to make sure everybody knew that what they're looking at is our web story right now in the two wants to know section, which has your ncwiseman.com uh, so that they'll put that in there. And because you just said that, I'll put the NC Works uh, address in there as well. The link for them in there as soon as we're done today. Is there anything else resource wise? Well, there's, an, there's another one too, Tanya. There's Goodwill Industries. Again, in Greensboro, it's, it's called Triad Goodwill. They have resources available. COVID's made it a little bit more difficult, but they do have them available. Oh, in, in Forsyth County or, you know, uh, what's it called? Uh, west of Greensboro, which is way more than <laughs> Forsyth County, there's Goodwill Industries of Northwest North Carolina. Now, the neat thing about Goodwill Industries of Northwest North Carolina is that they have uh, lots of resources, including a professional center for individuals who are, you know, in management roles or supervisory roles. So there's lots of resources. Here's what you have to do. You have to ask people. And, and, you know, and the more you ask questions, the more you learn about different resources. Yeah, and you are not the only person who is looking for a job. And there's nothing wrong with you looking for a job. There's nothing about that to be ashamed about or anything like that. We've all looked for jobs, so that's okay. Um, this person is asking, are temp or part-time jobs easier to come along right now, or is it just full-time jobs opening up? What are you seeing? So uh, full-time jobs are slowly increasing as, as organizations feel that they're able to better manage the COVID situation. But don't discount the opportunity of a temp job. Don't discount the opportunity of a part-time job. There may be lots of organizations who need the skills that you have, but they're not ready for full-time. So don't limit yourself to say, I only want a full-time job. Get an opportunity to create some revenue. Get an opportunity to get your foot in the door and then see where it can go. Mm -hmm. This next text question says, I do want to switch careers, but I'm not sure exactly what I'd be happy doing. I know I need a change, but I'm kind of stuck. What kind of advice? So that's, that's a, that's, that is a not unusual situation. Lots of people have experienced that. I did as well back in 2009 when I switched my career. Um, um, I, I, have a, I have a video on YouTube called Dream Dream out loud, share your dreams of others, which is the process of trying to figure out what it is that you want to do. And you start with your own thoughts and ideas, and then you have conversations with other people who may have ideas for you to consider as well. At the end of the day, you're going to find the career for you through a conversation with someone else. All right, and be thinking about that constantly in a way of what is something that comes up all the time that I'm interested in and how can I maybe parlay that into a job. Uh, of the four things that you said that you learned, here's number two, and it talks about if you're on LinkedIn. And when I asked you uh, the other day when we were talking, does everybody really need to be on LinkedIn? You said, oh yes, by far they do, but there are some things about LinkedIn that most people don't know. Well, first of all, one of the big things that people don't know about LinkedIn is that 97% of the recruiters out there have said to over the years that they start by looking on LinkedIn. For most roles, they will start on LinkedIn and look and see if they can find someone whose profile clearly says, this is who I am and what I do. The other big thing that I see that people don't realize the importance of LinkedIn is actually twofold. Number one, you must have a profile picture. You must. There is no if, ands, or buts about that. Recruiters will go slide by a profile that doesn't have a picture and go to the next one. The second thing is 
you should consider using what's called the uh, oh open for work. And if you go to your LinkedIn profile and you and you play around on it, you'll see there's an option called open for work. All right, those are two great uh, tips to pass along the picture and open for work. I love learning tricks that we don't normally know, that nobody's telling us. So thank you very much for sharing your expertise today. Tanya, thank you for letting me share uh, and I wish everybody the best. All right, and for those of you who may have missed a little bit or you would like to get in on some of those resources, you can go to the Two Wants to Know website right now. This story, looking for a job, need help with a career transition. The links uh, to his website are on there and then I will be adding the other links to those resources that we talked about uh, right after the show.